Hi, it's Dr. David Brady, Chief Medical Officer of Diagnostic Solutions Lab with another clinical minute or clinical tip for practicing providers. Um, and I wanted to talk just a little bit about Diagnostic Solutions Lab. We started about 10 years ago and we started in the incubator at Georgia Tech University in Atlanta. And uh, Georgia Tech is the number one molecular biology department and laboratory science department in the world. They were one of the two sites that actually first mapped the human genome. And most of our PhDs and laboratory scientists come from that program. So we are using really cutting edge molecular technologies. And on GI map, we use quantitative PCR, which is extremely sensitive and extremely specific. And sometimes clinicians aren't used to that level of sensitivity. So they see things like pathogens or conditional pathogens like H. pylori reported at a level that they feel is higher than they would expect. So the, the test must be wrong, right? No, the test is right. It's just the technology has leapt forward so much and the sensitivity is so much greater. Now we appreciate just how prevalent these organisms are. H. pylori is an example. The world literature is pretty uh, solid on this, that about 50% of people have H. pylori if you can look with the sensitive technology. Doesn't always mean it needs to be treated. That's why we give you the quantitative level and whether or not it's producing virulence factors. Combined with that and the clinical scenario with your patient, you can decide whether you need to treat it or not.